Okay, yeah, I forgot something to stir it with, okay? Oh. <sighs> So I'm drinking my old standby. Admittedly, I'm having this a lot, but you know what? It's refreshing. What can I say? This is a Greyhound. This is Tito's and fresh grapefruit juice, and it is so good. Let's start. Today I'm excited because I have been prepping for this video for quite some time. I have never done this before. This is my very first empties video. So this is basically just me going through all of the containers of products that I've used over the last few months and I'm gonna let you know whether I think I'm going to get them again, repurchase them, or if I'm like nah not so much. As you can see I've been collecting all the things I have used in the last few months in this magical bag. Oh but I bet you can't wait to find out what's in I'm gonna shake it up and we're just gonna pull things out blindly here. Okay, so this is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum from Good Molecules and this is very, very simple for me. 100% yes, I'm getting it again. So this is my favorite Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I do sort of go back and forth between this and the ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, but I just have to say I like this a little bit more because it is not as sticky. It goes on smoother. The ordinary is great as well. I just feel like it's a little tacky. This, there's no tackiness. It just goes on like glass and I am going to be getting my third bottle of this. I believe it's my third bottle, if not my fourth bottle. Okay, so next up is my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this is something that took me a while to get through. This is a great product. I used it all the time on other people when I was doing their makeup. I also used it a lot when I was in a stage production because I just knew that my makeup was not going to move. Will I be repurchasing this? Mm, I don't know, not immediately because I have a lot of mists that I use right now. And I kind of love a facial mist for a setting spray a little bit more than this. I feel like it's more natural. I love my Mario Badescu. I also have a primer water from Smashbox that I'm loving. I just feel like those give me a more dewy natural finish. But I will say the all-nighter is great for like weddings, stage, photo shoots, anything like that. It's fantastic. Mm. Oh it's seven o'clock. Can you guys hear? Everyone is cheering. Someone has a cowbell next door. I love it. Next thing I'm pulling out is a trial size of the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. We're just going to keep filming with all of this festive positivity happening in the background. I can't believe that I actually loved something that smells like bananas, but I was so into it that I actually went ahead and purchased the full size and use it as my current favorite moisturizer. Next product is the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. This I went through lickety split. I mean, I loved this. I think this is totally comparable to the Pharmacy Green Clean. Do I like the Pharmacy Green Clean a little bit better? Yes, I do like it a little bit better, but the fact that you're paying so little for this and the quality of this comes so close to the Pharmacy Green Clean, I think it's totally worth it. I was a huge fan of this. What will it be? So this is my Indie Lee Stem Cell Serum. It says Firm and Rejuvenate. Indie Lee, they are a clean brand and I really love them across the board. This was nice. I mean, I don't have a lot to say about it. I don't feel like I can tell you what it specifically did for my skin. It definitely felt like it was hydrating it. Would I repurchase it? Nah, probably not. I don't really know that I can tell you that I took anything really specific away from this. Yeah, so probably won't get this again, but it was okay. Okay, so this is one of the few makeup products that I have in my empties currently. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. Guys, I finally finished this. I think it took me about like a year and a half to two years. Of course, I interchanged this with other powders, but I will tell you this is one of my favorite powders I have ever used specifically for my under eye area. It really does give you a gorgeous airbrushed finish. I feel like I can wear this with a dewy foundation and it is going to mattify those areas that get a little shiny. I feel like I can wear it with a full coverage foundation and it's not gonna look cakey. It's just 
chef's kiss perfection. I absolutely will be repurchasing this. In fact, it's already in my Sephora cart ready for the VIB sale. And I also want to mention to you guys, I know that a lot of you guys know about the description box, but I've learned that a lot of subscribers actually do not know where the description box is located. So if you go underneath my video, you will see two words that say show more. You click on that and then that shows you the description box. The description box is where you can find links to every single thing I talk about in my video. When you guys are really digging on a certain product I use, you can always shop through my links. They are affiliate links and they do help support my channel. So if you are really digging on something, click on those links. Everything you purchase through that link is going to give me a very small commission. You know, these are certain things on YouTube where I think we as YouTubers just figure that everyone knows how it works, but that's not really a fair assumption. You know what I mean? We all have to learn. I mean, that's how I had to learn. I didn't know anything. I was a total noodle head when it came to YouTube and I started my channel and it was people like Stephanie Marie and Michelle Wong and Better Off Red who basically like walked me through the most elementary things. So I hope you don't feel like I'm talking down to you when I tell you where the description box is and what purpose it serves because you know what? You gotta learn somehow. Next product up. We have a teeny tiny version of the Drunk Elephant F-Balm Electrolyte Water Facial. So this is a trial size that I got from Sephora. I was really excited to try this because this is a newer product from Drunk Elephant and basically the suggested use is you apply four to five pumps of the F-Balm as the last step in your nighttime routine. Maybe worn to bed as an overnight mask. So you can use this as your moisturizer. You can use this over all of your skincare including your moisturizer in order to seal everything in. That's oftentimes what I would do and I felt like I maintained the moisture in my skin so much better when I used this before bed. Maybe you have like exfoliated too much, you've used too many treatment products and you wanna restore that moisture barrier in your skin. I feel like this was really fantastic. Now you can see I didn't have a huge amount of this. I actually got, I wanna say like a week's worth of use out of this. I do think I will be repurchasing this and I very well may be repurchasing it in that Sephora sale cause this shit's expensive. So next product up is my Lumify Eye Drops. I am a huge fan of this product. Better Off Red also featured this in one of her recent favorites videos. I just think this product is incredible. Okay, so first thing in the morning, this is my routine. Stumble out of bed, throw some warm water on my face, use my Mario Badescu spray, and then I will use my Lumify Drops. I cannot go without these. If you have any sort of redness in the whites of your eyes, in your water, line. This gets rid of all of that like a dream. You don't want to overuse this, of course, but I will tell you these are magical eye drops. These aren't the most inexpensive eye drops, but you know what? I don't really care because that's how worth it they are to me. So yes, I will be repurchasing. In fact, I already placed an order for two more bottles because... <laughs> Guys, it's a pandemic and I need my eyes to be white. I mean, priorities... Okay, so next is my Good Molecules Super Peptide Serum. This is formulated with tripeptides to target fine lines, wrinkles, and dullness. Serums are tough, right? Because I feel like they're sort of a long haul. You kind of have to use them over months and months to see any sort of a gradual difference, but I can honestly say that Good Molecules serums can do no wrong in my opinion. With serums, it's a little bit hard to know, you know, what was responsible for what because I really do serum cocktail. I loved this and I'm gonna pull out another empty really quick. I loved it in conjunction with the Good Molecules Niacinamide Serum. The Niacinamide Serum is going to refine skin texture and minimize pores. The Niacinamide Serum has been a huge discovery for me along with hyaluronic acid. These are things that I added into my skincare routine within the last year and I've noticed such a huge difference. I would get both of these again. I really loved them and I really love them together. Probably the last makeup product in the bag. This is my Glossier Boy Brow. I mean, do I even have to say it? Yes, yes, yes. Of course I will be repurchasing. In fact, I already repurchased it. Like I've been using the new one for two weeks now. Boy Brow has been one of my favorite products across the board since day one on my channel. I'm wearing it on my brows right now. It's super quick and easy, but it also just makes you look really pulled together. I can also kind of layer this product and it doesn't get crunchy and I can give myself a really 
really nice feathered brow. I am in the shade brown, but they have other shades as well. They also make it in clear. Just for the sheer fact that this has stayed in the game since day one, I gotta do it. Glossy boy brow, good job. Mm. Yeah. So next product is a trial size. This is my Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream Super Lotus Night Recovery. Okay, that's a mouthful. Fresh is one of those brands that's bougie as hell, so I don't really have any of their products that I'm currently using. Every time I use a trial size of theirs or something has been gifted to me, I'm always like, this is like sunshine and butterflies and a spa trip all in a jar. I loved this. I loved how it smelled. I loved how it made my skin and feel. Will I repurchase this? Yes, I will. As soon as I work my way through the mounds of skincare that I currently have going right now. Oh, it smells like cucumbers. I loved this trial size so much that I put together a skincare routine for one of my best friends recently. And this is the night cream I recommended. This is another Glow Recipe product. This is the Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. This came in a gift pack with some other Glow Recipe items and I liked it. I mean, cleanser is a little hard to get excited about, right? Like it takes a really special cleanser for me to lose my mind about it. I think it did the job. Will I repurchase it? Meh, I don't know, probably not. Okay, so another Good Molecules product. This is the Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil. I loved this. It's formulated with camellia and sea buckthorn oils to hydrate, protect, and nourish. I know this looks tiny, but all you need is like one to two drops. My current favorite way to use facial oil is as the last step in my skincare routine at night, just to seal in all of the skincare I put on before it. So I ran out of this and I'm currently using their rosehip seed oil, which I love. Would I get this again? Yeah, I absolutely would. It lasted forever and it was so super hydrating. Okay guys, last product in the bag. It is my Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. I mean, I think you know where I'm going with this because I have featured this in several videos as a favorite current product of mine. I have already repurchased this and have a brand new full size that I just broke into. This is a brightening and smoothing vitamin C serum. It also has hyaluronic acid in it. It gives me damn baby skin. Skin. Vitamin C, again, another product that I feel very passionately about. I didn't used to have it in my skincare routine. Added it in in the last year and my skin is so much brighter. The tone of my skin is so much better. If you're a person who doesn't like fruit smells, you're probably not going to love it. Like I'm not passionate about fruit smells, but I also feel like as long as the product is absolutely incredible, I don't really care either way because the smell goes away within like 30 seconds. There's so much skincare out there. There's like a million million vitamin C serums, but hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is my go-to and I don't see myself changing that in the near future. Okay guys, so those are all my empties from the last few months. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love watching empties videos personally. They're kind of an obsession of mine because I think they're a great way to see what people are currently loving, what they feel so passionate about that they're actually going to use their own money and repurchase. Let me know in the comments if you were digging on this empties video. As always, if you guys are enjoying my content, please do subscribe, share, and like, and click that little bell right beneath the video. That is what is going to alert you anytime I drop a new video. As I said before, all of these products I've mentioned will be linked in my description box. Just a reminder that I am currently doing my happy hour live streams three times a week. That's Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please come on by, have a drink, chat it up with us. The last live stream I did, we did a whole mask night. It was super fun. So I hope I see you guys this Monday at 7 p.m. and cheers till next time. Mm.